Hi, so this is me again and welcome back to the next class for Photoshop. Now in this class, we'll get to understand the basic use of Photoshop, the tools and the best practice. Now let me remind you of something or let me bring something to your attention that in the description below there has been some documents linked there for you to understand these tools better. So after this class, please make sure to download them and go through them in detail because they give you basic insights on the shortcuts and essential practice of Photoshop. Now, in this class right now, we'll be going through a practical use of all these tools, ranging from the selection tool to the marquee tool to the lasso tool and to the basic text and then understanding how to effectively arrange your layers for productivity. So if you don't have Photoshop open right now, just open it and we'll be showing you on, on my screen right now, you can see, I already have the previous document I opened. You know, if you didn't catch that, please go back to the last class to refresh your memory. Now, first you have your document open. Remember it was 1080 by 1080p. That's pixel by inch. And we already have this. Now, the first thing you should note is in this place, you can either create an artboard or create a normal image or a normal workspace. And I'm creating, I created a normal workspace so we can easily work with this. Now, the very first tool we have on our menu toolbar, sorry, on our toolbar is the move tool and the shortcut for the move tool is V. Now, one interesting thing about the newer versions of Photoshop is that it shows you uh, an animated tutorial or tip on how to use this tool. So as you can see, if I over on one, it shows me what it does, just basic movement. If I over on another rectangle tool and everything like that. So you can see that uh, Photoshop has done a good job for us to really understand how it is, how it can be used and the best practices for it. So um, if you're stuck, just over on one and you can find what it does. Now in the document provided for you, the shortcuts are there and it'll be easy for you to just use that. So let's continue with what we need to do right now. So first we'll be using um, a particular image to practice the basic use of Photoshop and how to edit things and how to just put things together. So now what you need to do now is we will need to bring in an image to work on so you can understand these basic experiences and practices. And first thing you need to do is, um, since you already have the document we've provided for you at the very beginning, there is a folder called O and E, which is your work folder. So first thing you need to do right now is go to file and access the, the file you were given at the very beginning, your work file, place links, and you would see it under O and E materials. Open the Photoshop folder, then click on practice. Under practice, you see one image there. Place the image in your workspace. Now it shows something like this. And then now we are able to access um, our transformation tool. Now just click on one edge and drag. Now you can see that a drag is just moving. But then there's a way you can make this um, scale towards the center, like we learned in Illustrator. Just hold Alt and it scales towards the center. That's hold Alt on your keyboard and it scales towards the center. Now, I'll need to just scale it till uh, it's almost in the middle and this is fine. Once you do that, just place it, like use this at, at the top of your control toolbar. And so now you have it. Now the first thing we're learning how to do is how to crop. I want to crop this to get a square out of this and then to access your crop tool, it's very easy. You select either your rectangular marquee tool or you select the crop tool. So we use the rectangular marquee tool, click on it and on your artboard or your workspace, draw holding shift to give it the square effect. If I release it, you can see I can move it freely, but if I hold shift, it moves the same way. So this is when holding shift and then I can have a square. Now, if I draw this, I can easily just move this to place where I want it to fit. And once it's here, it's in the perfect center. I can just right click on this and layer by copy. Now, creating layer by copy brings it to a new layer. And a new layer has been created this way. Now, if I hide this, you can see that this is what we have. Now, with this, a very important thing you need to know about Photoshop is you need to understand the basic transformation tools and to transform the shortcut is ctrl t to transform on the layer you are working with 
so don't be um don't be too eager to work without creating the proper layers for your work now with this layer still the same um, scaling process or transformation process scale but then holding out in the center till it covers the entire thing now if you notice that as this image becomes bigger it starts to pixelate and pixelate means that it starts to show the actual value or the way photoshop you know would make it look because photoshop is a raster based software now if i zoom into this you select the zoom tool or you hold down z and then it brings up the zoom tool if i zoom into this you notice how it starts becoming blurry and then it gets to a point where it to totally changes to just tiny boxes now these boxes are called pixels one box is a pixel and then in this image right now we have 1000 of this 1080 of this on both sides if you multiply it it gives you a particular value so let's go into that but then if you zoom out you have it all looking nice again now the reason why this is this way is because of the file type or the structure of photoshop it works with raster based softwares now with this this is one way to crop but i'll be showing you a different way to crop now instead of going back to select this your move tool all you need to just do is press space bar or press v and then it takes you back to the move tool now we can undo this to have the original image we wanted to work with before but since we already created a layout of the first one you could probably just hide this here this eye sign you can see here this is to hide once you hide you can unhide this one and then you have it back now let's crop this so that we don't lose the quality of this image you go to your crop tool, which is shortcut c and then crop it in place and do the same thing here i believe we all learn how to crop on our phones we do that a lot so now we have this now the next thing we'll be learning how to do use is the selection tool but now it's a quick selection tool to be able to select out this hand from the blue um, sky now you need to zoom in and a very shortcut way to zoom instead of pressing z every time is to hold alt and scroll forward on your middle the middle mouse of your of your the middle mode button of your mouse scroll forward so you can see the image in full and then just select this and drag it along the image now you can see selecting too much so undo that and reduce the size here now remember that you always need to use your controls toolbar it's very important because that's where you get to control your tool so i can increase this or reduce it it depends on how much detail you want to show so let me just reduce a little bit more and you know just get this out now if your image is not high quality it will give you this kind of effect so that's why in the introduction you made you understand that you need high quality images to perform this task so you can see what this thing is just doing it seems very annoying but then it's just to show you what this tool can do another way to do this selection is by using um, the, man the polygonal lasso tool and this one allows you to just create points around your image it's like you're tracing it out with lines and as you do this you start to notice that it's picking out all those things so what i'm doing is i'm just clicking the mouse and on the edges to select out this hand alone now there are many ways to select something you can see i'm not taking it really serious but then you need to actually focus and get this right because if you don't you get a very terrible result well let me just do this so you understand but this is how to use this tool uh, you can decide to go into full detail when you're using it in your practices and once this is done since uh you know you get this and then you join it back to the hedge now you can see it has a selection and if you right click on this you can either cut or copy now let's copy it out and once you have that if i hide this you can see what we have oh sorry that was a mistake it should have been on this particular layer so you understand how layers work now if you're on this layer and you work on something else you get to make mistakes so be very careful with that so click on this and copy and once you copy you can see that this is selected out and our blue screen is no longer there but then an alternative way to do this is by 
using something called the magic wand now if you check on your tools you see this very tiny icon or tiny arrow just by the right down corner once you right click it shows more tools hidden under it select it and then you have your magic wand now what the magic wand does is it selects colors close to that particular pixel box you selected and it automatically selects all of them so if i click on this it selects everything blue in this image without any trouble that is why it's called magic wand because it does magic but then if you select this instead you see selects things that are similar to it so selecting blue selects everything blue you can hold down your control your shift sorry rather and still select more to get rid of you know others that are not really there and what you can do right now is the same thing right click and copy wrong layer right click and copy what is it so once you click copy you can see what we have you took out this particular image and this is what we have now with this selection there is an alternative way to do this and that is by now you can undo this to go back to your selection now with this the same way still right click and instead of now selecting it what you need to do is select inverse i want to select inverse now you can say i only select these ones we have and then if you right click on this you can copy it out and then you have this now it will still need you to take a little bit of work to make this perfect but this is at the basic ways to just use some of these things now so in this class we're only able to touch a few number of tools but then if you look at the link in the description there is a document that contains the basics of understanding how to use these tools now what i want you to do right now is go ahead and play around with these tools and get yourself familiar with how or how you can use them now one way you can learn this better is by opening photoshop and just over on your screen and you can see what these things do in the next class we'll be going through the process of using the eraser tool creating text and also learning um, how to save in photoshop i'll see you in the next class